Another aspect of interest rates is inflation. Interest rates are actually comprised of two components. One is the real rate of interest or profit, and the second is the expected inflation going forward. So let's look at this in an equation. The interest rate that you normally talk about is the nominal rate of interest. Interest rate nominal is what you see quoted on websites and what we would talk about. If you say you have a 6% mortgage, that's the nominal rate. But if we break that into two components, one is the interest rate that's real. And real interest rates are the profit that the lender is getting from the borrower. So this is basically profit plus expected inflation. Expected inflation is the purchasing power of the money while you've lent it out. For example, if you lent me $100 and I paid you back in a year and you wanted to uh, make sure that you didn't lose any money, you would charge me a rate of interest minimal, at minimum of the rate of future expected inflation. So if you thought prices were going to go up over the next year of 5%, you would charge me no less than 5% interest. So at the end of the year, you could buy as much as many goods and services at the end of the year as you could at the beginning of the year. So if we think of expected inflation as purchasing power, we know that whatever our future expectations over the period of the loan are is going to be our minimum rate of interest. In this case, I said 5% which is a little high for inflation, but it'll be an example here. Plus, we want to make some profit. If you lent money to me, you clearly would want to make as much profit as possible, so you'd try to charge me as much interest as you could. The 5% would be the minimum you'd charge, and then you'd look for a, a profit factor on top of that. Let's say you could wanted to charge me another 5%, so the interest rate that you would talk to me about or quote me would be 10%. So 10% interest would be your um, required amount of interest for me to borrow the money, and you'd know that 5% of it you're losing in purchasing power over the term of the loan, and then 5% would be actually your real return or profit on the loan. So as you can see, in interest rates have two components, one of which is very um, significant, and that's expected inflation. If you expect inflation not to be 5%, but at 10%, then the rate of interest you would charge me is 15%. So as you see, inflation expectations going forward has a direct impact on everyone's uh, um, interest rate because it doesn't matter whether you want to charge them a profit or not, expected inflation sets a minimum standard for interest rates.